to get in here. Hello, I'm Tom Varner, and welcome to Adventures in TV Land. For today's adventure, we've come to the Badlands of South Dakota. You guys find somewhere to stay locally for this place? Yeah, I mean, there's like kind of a, we just got a, a house like further, like, okay. uh, uh, you, you right think you the you on the Are you guys gonna hold hands? Is it close enough? Nope. Beware rattlesnakes. Enter at your own risk. Yeah, super, right? <laughs> 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 super, super, super. There's a lizard down my cave. You can barely see them, but there's some wild horses down there. Or maybe not wild, but there's horses. This uh, marker talks about the Badlands Oasis and about how just this spot right here, this oasis spot, gets more rain per year than almost everywhere else in the Badlands. No matter how many pictures you take or video, no matter what filters you use or techniques or whatever, film cannot capture the beauty of the grandeur of places like this. Only by being here yourself can you witness the awesome kaleidoscope of creation. It is the awesomeness of creation before our eyes. And no stop is complete without a stop by the visitor center. So we're going to walk the Saddle Pass Trail. It's 
the shortest trail in the park, but it's also apparently one of the most steepest. I used to, the only thing I knew about the Badlands, it was always in westerns when I grew up, so people get lost in them. All right, I'm not at the end of this path yet, but look at these, look at those vistas. Look at those views, amazing. I'm probably about 300 to 350 yards in of the 400 yards I have to climb. So, The only thing I really knew about the Badlands until fairly recently, I had been here once before, about 15 years ago, but besides that, it was just things that were talked about in the movies with the cowboys and the Indians. People would get lost in the Badlands and die there. At least in the movies they did. But being here, walking here and around in here, you can really see that how easily that could be done. Settlers with wagons, and probably even Indians, follow this very same pathway for years and years. They say that climbing down that pass is more difficult than going up, and I 100% agree with that. I was climbing down and I slipped and hit a rock. I put my my jeans, have a skin my knee a little bit there. I have a cut on my wrist. Good thing I have a water and first aid kit in the car. Um, if you're ever in the Badlands and you decide to hike this path, make sure you wear boots, not shoes. As you can see, I have boots on, but I still fell down. That rock out there looks like a prairie dog. Here 
here's a sample of nothing but the wide, vast, open prairie. So there's something that's been on my mind a little bit. Um, when I was climbing that trail, the pass, there was a, these group of hikers, three men, one woman. They had climbed up to a spot, a different part, uh, much higher than everyone else, and they hadn't been hanging out there. They were there before I even got there. But the th thing that it's kind of been irritating me, even the more I think about it. When they started back down, hiking down, one of the men had music playing, and it was playing the whole time, and it was loud. I'm, I know it was his personal music or whatever, but the thing was, you could hear it everywhere. And while I saw these guys, I saw that group later on, they were in two different vehicles, and apparently, I mean, they're, they're pretty professional campers. They had all this equipment in the back of their vehicles and everything like that. But, you know, this is a national park, and you're not supposed to leave any trash, and people work very hard to keep it clean, to keep things, the beauty that's here, here. In all honesty, that goes for the, your noise, too, and the noise pollution. I mean, it was so disconcerting hearing that rock music climbing all the way down. I mean, come on, man. No better. Put some, put some, ear, put some earphones on, or you're probably one of these young, hip people. I mean, you look pretty young and pretty hip. Put, put earbuds in. You probably like earbuds. Put earbuds in and listen to your music that way. Nobody else wants to hear that here. Keep it to yourself. Keep the noise pollution out. Он сейчас реально разбежится на кого-нибудь. Смотрите, он разошелся. Бараника. Вот, попрыгали, все, да? Вон там один мелкий. Бараны, горные, мелкие, горные. of a buffalo jump.
one final 360 view of Badlands National Park. just before I left the park. This has been another adventure in TV land where we visited the Badlands in South Dakota. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel for further uploads and ring that bell for email notifications. And if there's some place that you want to see me visit, leave a comment in the comment section. Until next time. That's right.